Welcome back to Adventure. I'm your host, Jim Clash. In 2002, my special guest became the first man to solo the world nonstop in a balloon. Last year, he was the first to solo the world nonstop in an airplane. Now, at age 62, Steve Fawcett has written his autobiography, Chasing the Wind. Welcome, Steve. Thank you very much for coming on. It's an honor. Uh, great to be here. You know, I've always thought of you as a balloonist, but I was in reading your book. It's amazing. You've done 115 different world records in a number of different disciplines. Uh, uh, tell me about the, the breadth of your experience. It's 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 unbelievable. Well, I, I'm I want to do interesting things. So I pick projects according to how fascinating they are to me. And it has re resulted in a broad reach. Uh, my records are actually in five different sports. Which are? Well, of, of course there's uh, balloons, right. but there's uh, airplanes right. and um, airships right. and gliders right. and sailboats. Wow. Um, you, and you did, you sailed around the world. Do you have the fastest record for sailing around the world uh, by yourself, one person? I sailed uh, with my crew and we sailed around the world in 58 days, nine hours which took uh, six days off the prior world record. Wow. Interestingly, it's already been broken <laughs> by some Has it really? Yes. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but we were delighted at the time to smash the existing world record. Of all the world records you have, which, which are you most proudest of? It is the uh, first uh, solo flight around the world by balloon because we had to figure out when we entered this competition to fly around the world, uh, how to, how to get balloons to fly that far. At the time I started, the longest balloon flight was just over 5,000 miles, and the longest mm -hmm. duration was six days. So we had to triple or quadruple the capability of balloons uh, to fly in duration and distance. Wow. Um, it was much harder than we ever thought to make the round the world balloon flight. Uh, it took me uh, six attempts. And, uh, I remember reading about many of them. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> But after each attempt, I could see that it was possible yeah, and yeah. that I had the team and that I was getting the experience that I needed to solve the problems. And, and each time I felt that I had a, a better chance uh, uh, on the next attempt. Does it get lonely up there? Not really. Uh, flying solo, uh, you have a, a fair workload. So I, I'm not only flying the balloon, but I'm doing the uh, navigation, mm -hmm. communications, mm -hmm. and repairing the burners, yeah, yeah, yeah. taking care of the equipment. So it's, it's a nice workload. If you have two or three balloonists up there, uh, you're going to need a book because you, you have too much free time. But one balloonist stays, it's about right. And how long did it take you to, to fly solo around the world? The total flight was uh, 14 days, and I flew from uh, Western Australia in the southern hemisphere back around to land in uh, Australia again. Wow. And do you get to sleep at all during that time? I was able to get uh, about uh, an average of four hours of sleep each day. Uh, one of the things I had to do to fly solo is uh, have an autopilot mm -hmm. so it would be possible to get some sleep. Yeah, yeah. And uh, one of my uh, team, uh, Bruce Comstock, uh, developed the first autopilot for balloons which fires the burners in a way to keep the balloon uh, at a level of flight. Fabulous. You've done a lot of things. Uh, I know you're friends with Sir Richard Branson. I know Sir Richard Branson is working on taking people suborbital into space with his Virgin Galactic Airways. What's next for you? Is it that? Are you going to go up into space or is it something else? Oh, I've got an exciting new project. What uh, is I'm, I'm going after the uh, land speed record. And uh, this might surprise you. It might not seem like something I would want to do. Uh, but uh, I, have, I have a car now, yes. and a jet-powered car. Uh, it has been driven by Craig Breedlove right. uh, to 675 miles an hour, uh, but I'm going to upgrade the aerodynamics of the car, and uh, I want to drive at 800 miles an hour next year. Steve, thanks for coming on, and best of luck with that 800-mile-an-hour attempt. <laughs> I'd like to be there to watch that. Oh, uh, you should be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Again, balloonist Steve Fawcett. I'm Forbes adventurer Jim Clash. For more, check out my column in Forbes magazine or click on Forbes.com slash adventurer. And thanks for watching the Forbes.com video network.